Welcome everyone to my new presentation as we're continuing our price predictions for Solana on January 2024. On a market dumping momentum, the sentiment is about to change back towards bullishness. So I would like to share with you the levels that are important for January, what we could target as well, what are the potential levers that we could speak about in terms of lower market price action. Currently, Solana is still finding itself among the trendings, yet it's no longer that cryptocurrency delivering double digits on green color, but still, still having a much better time than many other cryptos that are amongst the biggest losers. Take a look at that, folks. What's happening here on the right side? You get movement to see above 10, 15%, 12%, and so on. There's a lot of the alts out there which are not listed here, but they're dumping big time. BTC is finding itself above 44 grand, which is why the market is still uh, trying to survive. Now, we are going to dive into the charts, not before for those of you that are enjoying this kind of videos make sure to subscribe to the youtube channel have you know, any questions in the comments area as well consider checking out my live trades and trading videos that i posted about on the youtube shorts you will be able to see many presentations including the ability to see my trading journal and join my trades on option number one no prior fee only commission from the pure profits achieved so it's an option based on performance where everything is running outsourced for you we're trading with api trading permission and it's all going fine with that as well for those of you that are serious about this space i'm looking for for financial freedom it's time to learn how to do this so we are having the one-on-one -on -one coaching program directly with me where i'll take you by hand and teach you how to trade let's dive into the solana's charts folks enough for the presentation what's happening on the four hour candlesticks is something that i'd like to speak about now this is most likely aiming a short-term discussion and i'd like to dive into the things of the massive liquidity grabbing movement we had in the last couple of days which is aiming to take out all the liquidity existent by the buying pressure generated within the candlesticks we printed on the highly manipulated market on the 3rd of january 2024 when the market dumped based on all sorts of fake etf news we just took out all the liquidity from there and touched back our demand zone a demand zone sitting between 1.272 and 41.4 guys it is a place which is expected of a great reaction and we're no longer looking forward to seeing the market forming under any circumstances, any form of a major dump from here, but most likely we're looking for filling up the gap between the downtrending resistance lines and the current price section with the current level of demand. So at the same time, we're trying to react on 200 days moving average. As you can see on the four hours, we're right there, uh, pretty much filled up with buying pressure coming from many places, including a possible convergence on the CRSI, which is appearing right there. It's extremely minor in the way it sets but still it could be healthy especially if we look at the, the other time frames we might be able to discover that solana has convergences going on which is how usually it happens when the markets are about to turn around they are printing such things now other than that we do enjoy the markets that they are still basically in a great shape from the way 50 days moving average is very soon touching the 100 days which is the light blue right so the orange line with the light blue line right there we're still trading above 100 days on the orange line which is a 50 days and the main point here is for the market recovery back to the trending lines as the first target for january will be that the 50 days moving average to bounce from the 100 days and continue forward the trending lines this is something that we are supposed to do then our 20 days moving average will simply follow and break through everything and continue which at the moment in the way it's set up it's not a big deal that we're trading below that uh, although it's not also a big deal that we're trading below the other two moving averages as long as the 200 days is not lost and confirmed on there as a loss we are in a good shape for the moment of course this good shape can be you know extremely denied by having the markets finding a major resistance at that level that would be quite powerful i mean it's 1.618 as well in connection with the downtrending resistance lines which uh, we have two variables out there that could fit very well. We need to consider that the $103, $104 levels could be really painful for Solana. If it triggers bearishness there and it's confirmed, then you have a very clear structure of a bearish domination of three major tops that are forming lower lows and lower highs. 
uh, which will probably put a lot of the pressure on the 1.272 demand zone uh, of either holding or not as our sort of a white triangle is going to look like this if the rejection appears in the encircled area at slightly on $100, slightly above $100. It also depends how does the ETF news are going to come out this week, hopefully this week. And uh, if we get to be positive around, we're going to get a market pump. The market pump for ETF news could take us basically to the golden pocket of the miner structure. The golden pocket of the miner structure is situated around $115, $116 right there. So you can consider that one. And then the picture opens up for a different uh, avenue, considering that you might revisit basically your trending line you broke out and you are going to find support on it. This is going to be a great perspective to revisit the top and break out. Now, obviously, that's the avenue generated by a positive uh, ETF announcement and approved signal. Uh, but we also have the ability to get delayed or simply reject. It depends. I mean, for the long term, for the long run, I think the ETF is going to be approved and this is going to take the space to a whole different level. It's just a question of time of when. So for us traders that are participating actively in the market, this is very important, the timing beautiful that's where we are at the moment so this is a place filled up with bullish sentiment at the time we're trading a new four hour candlestick under establishment we are supposed to push the markets back quickly to the 100 dollars levels and then see how does the reaction is going to play around that level an etf approval around 100 dollars level would be amazing basically for solana this way could really attack the highs and take the markets to the best that's pretty much all on today's video guys once again for those of you that would like to participate in my trades join my trading journey feel free to reach out check out my performance and the way it works have a good time around the topic it's all outsourced we're having our chat gpt bot participating in trading we're having our api trading permission it's completely uh off hands for you where you just have to pay the commission every seven days from pure profits achieved. So it's based on performance as simple as like that, including basically the scramblecoaching.com, which is only for serious people of the space that are aiming to become financial free by learning how to trade cryptocurrency full time. I'll take you by hand and teach you professionally how to do this, guys. This is a very, very comprehensive program. You definitely want to check out the uh, detailed explanation on the description side and have a good time on a free conversation with me by register now. Enjoy folks we we'll talk to you soon